Ian, welcome to Doncaster Rovers. You've had a couple of days now to get your feet under the table at your new club. How's that been? It's been great. Uh, the lads have worked really well. Uh, we've got a good honest bunch together. They've worked really hard. Uh, and first impressions, it's, it's a really good club to join. How did this move come about from your perspective? I know you've spent the last two seasons at Middlesbrough to, to join Gary McSheffrey's coaching staff. How's that one come on your radar? Uh, I left Middlesbrough at the, the end of last season, obviously. Uh, Chris wanted to go his own way, which is football. I've been in football uh, a long time. I was brought in from Neil, uh, and, and that's really the situation, how it uh, folded, really. Uh, we left on good terms. Middlesbrough is a good football club, uh, but coming here really is, is, has been really good for me uh, and something I want to get my teeth into. The club, of course, looking to, to bounce straight back in, into League One after relegation last season. Was it that ambition when speaking to the manager that you were keen to be a part of? Yeah, that's right. Obviously, we want to get the club going forward again and it, uh, it's a good time to come in and, and with the manager and also a couple of people who I know, uh, Steve Ayer with the coaching side of it and obviously Stephen Andes, who did the keepers before and will be a big part of it with me. Uh, going forward, we know what they want. We know the foundation and what they're setting down and what we're doing with the players and uh, hopefully we can we can put that in place. You played well over 500 career games in your playing days, you've since spent a few years as a goalkeeping coach both in academies and at first team level, what did your playing days sort of lead you into in terms of your coaching, how, how many things could you take from it? Uh, a lot really, obviously uh, I, I played until I was 41 so I carried on a little bit more than what probably what I should have done but then went straight into coaching uh, and it's just probably the second best job in the world is being a coach, first is, is playing still but uh, no it's just experience, the enjoyment you give to the, the players, the confidence uh, and just doing things what you've already done before you know and uh, hoping to give them uh, the platform for them to perform. Because it's a different environment, the keepers, isn't it? You're, you're often away from the, the play, main playing squad for a, a fair while during the week in particular. So you have to make sure that the environment's an enjoyable one as well as one that comes in and, and gets down to work. That's right. Obviously, we've got to get the team's uh, involvement, but usually we're on his own. We usually do his own thing uh, day in, day out. And when called upon, uh, we'll go in with the team. So, yeah, we will, we'll spend a lot of time together. We'll get the camaraderie going. Uh, we'll get the banter going, you know. And uh, it, it can only be a healthy competition for, for places. We've got a mixture within the goalkeeping department. Jonathan Mitchell, of course, towards the, the back end of his 20s now. You've got Lewis and then Ben Bottomley as well. How do you find that in, in working with different goalkeepers at different ages and, and having to balance, I suppose, what, what each one's strengths are? Yeah, it's a good mix, really. I mean, we've probably only had a couple of sessions to get used to it, obviously. Stephen Anders has told me a lot about them. We've we've gone back and we've studied most of the keepers as well. And like I say, there's a real good diversity between them. The one good thing about them is that they're all willing to learn. They're all willing to push each other. And like I say, they that they want to be successful for Doncaster Rovers. In the same way that when new signings come in, if they're coming in in the first week of pre-season, it's good for them. They're not playing catch up. Did you feel the same coming in on day one that you weren't coming in as as such a new face because it was sort of the first day back at school for everybody in there? No, I was. Obviously it was a clean slate for me and also a clean slate for the goalkeepers and also for the players as well, you know, it was a good timing to, to come in on the first day of pre-season. Uh, I know what pre-seasons are like as a player, so hopefully uh, the lads enjoy it, the lads have a smile on the face every day and like I say, we want the best uh, things for the players and, and we as coaches have got to provide that. We know our our end result sort of thing, what we, what we all want from this season. And if we can put that into the players, then hopefully we'll go forward quite quickly.